The Cebu City Emergency Operations Center supports Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia on her swabbing policy for OFWs and returning overseas Filipinos arriving at the Mactan Cebu International Airport. This comes as the governor revealed yesterday that two national officials plan to file a case against her for allegedly defying IATF protocol. Chari Coronel reports. Cebu City Councilor Joel Garganera has expressed support on the position of Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia on the swabbing policy for overseas Filipino workers and returning non-OFWs arriving in Cebu. Garganera, who is also the Deputy Chief Implementer of the city's Emergency Operations Center, said what the governor is implementing in Cebu is not only practical but also medically compliant. The city councilor said that in negative test result upon arrival should be enough for the OFWs and ROFs to travel to their respective local government units. He also believed that most of the arriving passengers have already received their complete doses of COVID-19 vaccine. In a press conference yesterday, the governor announced that two national officials plan to file a case against her for allegedly defying the whole-of-nation approach of the interagency task force. Based on Resolution 114 of the IATF issued last May 6, all arriving passengers will be required to go on a 14-day quarantine upon arrival and undergo a swab test only on the seventh day from the date of arrival. In Cebu, Garcia's directive is that all Cebuano OFWs and ROFs arriving at Mactan Cebu International Airport will undergo double swabbing, while transit passengers will be swabbed before proceeding to their final destination. With double swabbing, Cebuano OFWs and ROFs OFs are swabbed upon arrival at the airport. If they test negative, they can go home where they will be monitored and swabbed again on the seventh day. Garcia said she was informed that presidential spokesperson Harry Roque Jr. and Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara were considering to take legal action against her. The governor believed that her executive order is innovative and not a violation of IATF directives. Representatives of the health department from other provinces in central Visayas, including Bohol, Siquijor, Dumaguete, Negros Oriental, and Cebu province, visited the Cebu City EOC today to discuss Garcia's policy on swabbing. Chari Coronel, Sunstar Tonight.